Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to talk about how to get a baby to sleep with an ear infection. Ear infections are one of the peskiest, nastiest, most unpleasant things that affect babies. They're pretty rare before about six to nine months of age, but between nine months and 18 months of age, they're quite common. They start to taper off a little bit after that. Uh, ear infections don't always hurt. Sometimes I'm really surprised. I'll see a baby who has some cold symptoms but seems otherwise happy, and by darn it, that ear is full of pus, and we have to treat an ear infection. Who knew? Sometimes babies are very fussy. They're grabbing at their ears. I look in there at the eardrum, and everything's totally fine. Whatever's bothering them is not an ear infection. You don't know until you actually get a look at the eardrum itself to see whether there's pus in the middle ear or not. However, in the cases where a doctor has looked in and seen that there's pus in the middle ear, there really is an ear infection, now you want to know, my baby's unhappy, what are we going to do? How are we going to get him or her to sleep? Now, some things that we advise are rather obvious, but I'll say them again anyway. Acetaminophen, which is in Tylenol, is a very good pain reliever. If you're not using it already, try it. Otherwise, you can use acetaminophen, or uh, you can use ibuprofen. I just went through acetaminophen. Use ibuprofen, which is in Advil and Motrin. That's another super pain reliever. People say, hey, which one's best? I don't know. Try it on your baby. They're probably about equivalent, but some people report a better response to one than to the other. Now, you can use them at the same time, but we don't advise a regimen where you alternate one with the other that's complicated. It tends to lead to overdose. It doesn't make things any better. So avoid the alternating regimen. We just don't recommend that anymore. What else can we do? Well, your doctor can prescribe drops that are pain relieving drops. They have antipyrine and benzocaine in them. You may see them labeled as abiotic drops or, or Ralgan brand drops. And what they do is numb up the eardrum itself. When you get an ear infection, the eardrum is stretched out. It's inflamed. It hurts. There's pressure back there. If you can numb up the nerves of the eardrum, you can relieve a lot of that pain. So when I see a nasty ear infection, I almost always uh, prescribe the abiotic drops as well. Now, I've heard folk remedies of using uh, some cooking oils, one called sweet oil, in the ear. I really have no idea if that does any good or not. You hear about it, it's probably not going to do any harm as long as the oil is clean and sterile. But uh, does it do any good? I don't know. Uh, you can try it if you don't have any other options. A heating pad might help. You never want a baby to sleep on a heating pad because that can cause burns. But temporarily, if you're watching it, that might help. Just rubbing the side of the head, rubbing the baby's back, distracting him or her from the pain can help. So you've got a variety of modalities to try. The good news is that your infection should be improving within two or three days. And if it's not, you want to talk to the doctor again and figure out what else you need to do. Talking about helping a baby sleep with an ear infection, I'm Dr. David Hill.